Hey, and welcome back to Blind Hero Flip. My name is Ion, and this is episode, I don't know, 26, 25. And I'm about to cut some out for the counterweight, and I'm at the Kados Makerspace because I'm intent to use their tools for this. I have to apologize for the bad audio at this location, but this is the reason for it. This is the machine, I have never used it before. Let's see how this works out. So uh, this machine doesn't work for now, I think it needs a new blade and the coolant flow wasn't uh, effective. So uh, I'll use something else to cut the counterweight parts. These pieces of steel will become the counterweight for the suction box. I figure it should be possible for nearly everyone to get a piece of steel 80 millimeters wide, 5 millimeter thick, and just chop it up like I just did in pieces of a length. This is a 14.2 centimeters, 142 millimeters in this direction from here to there. And this together should be a 4.2 kilogram counterweight that fits exactly in the corner of the suction box. Thanks, Carlos, for letting me use your tools. I am now back in the workshop of Seabase. Let me show you what I've been up to. I constantly keep on updating the plants, and this is the new version with the new counterweight in it. And this is the counterweight actually here. And here you can see the metal pieces. Those over here. I just cut them in the Carlos maker space. And you can also see that and that 3D printed part. And those are printing right now. This is the Octoprint web interface. And right now I'm printing these two parts that hold the linear bearing and go here and there. And other parts for the counterweight. So this top pulley up there, the, the holder there, it's already printed and it looks like this. And that part I still have to print. Right now I want to focus on drilling these two holes. And with these two holes, this whole stack is attached together. Let's mark these. Now let's set the 48 distance. And now let's drill this with a five millimeter hole. I've set this jig up. These bolts are under here as parallel pieces, improvised parallel pieces. And this clamp is here so the pieces can't move laterally because the top two are not as tightly clamped in as the bottom one. So this should keep them all in place. And now I will drill them to these two holes. And so I should get the exact same result. And then I can take it all apart and put another two underneath and always keep the first one as original to take measurements off of. And this way they all should turn out the same. Except one, one I need to remember to deliberately offset 20 millimeters. 
because that one will poke out. So top one I keep and the other two one can be taken out and replaced. You see down here the clamping part doesn't go completely down so I can't clamp anything properly. So I'll put these spacer pieces, these bolts under here to lift up the lo a lower one in the region where the jaws actually can clamp down on it. So yeah, let's line them up as best as we can. Let's go with the second round. Okay, let's try to offset this somehow. Like this should be good. I just eyeballed these 20 millimeters, but that's okay. And I will quickly drop an M5 bolt in this hole because I don't have the other clamp. Okay. And now we can try whether this fits together. Okay, the screws don't seem to be long enough. I believe they are because first of all, they aren't countersunk here yet. And secondly, there are giant margins between these because of the burrs that I haven't taken off yet. So um, let's deburr them and then let's see whether they fit even better. Okay, that looks much better. That fits really nice together. Now I need to sink this one outer piece a bit further. Let's do this. There it is, through the power of video editing. Yes, now it's lush. And here it is, the counterweight. Not yet completely done, but well underway. And while I was working on this part, the bearing holders that hold the linear bearings are also nearly done. It says 94% uh, done. So really close. Great. And here are the printed parts. Let's see if they fit. Looks good. Perfect. Exactly as I wanted them to work. So this one goes on like this and the other one goes on like this. So next step is to drill these holes and uh, tap an M3 hole in here. Okay, this one up top here is the first one. I will first drill with a 3mm drill until I have a divot and then I will continue with a 2.5mm drill because I need to cut an M3 thread in here. Yep, that drill just broke. Damn it. Let's drill this and let's try not to break the last the last 2.5mm bit I have. Now the second cutter in a row of three. And now onto the last one. Let's see if this fits. Okay, now that this is fixed in place, I can drill and tap these two screws. Let's hope that I don't break the last three millimeter drill. Yeah, it should be visible. Okay, let's take this off again. 
Okay, yeah, good visible. Let's take this over to the drill press and drill a 2.5 millimeter hole in there. Cutting oil is always required. I am happy with this. Looks good. Now onto the other one. Before I continue, I need to drill the hole where the line attaches, the line that goes over the pulley. These two other holes are there, so I have some flexibility with the position to attach the line to. Obviously, I need to deburr these really good so so to not hurt the line that goes through. So the counterweight consists of these nine parts. The one to hook up the line to goes on the fourth position counted from the back. So three normal ones, then the one that sticks out on the top with the holes, and then the other five. Let's assemble this. Let's continue with the other linear bearing which goes on that corner in this position. Let's check the plans. Yeah, this position, like this. Two clear divots, let's drill the two and a half millimeter hole and then let's tap the thread. So let's do another time lapse of uh, tapping two M3 holes. Let's try if this fits and then when this is fixed in place I can pre-drill the other side. Now I'll draw the two and a half millimeters of the last two holes. Let's hope to not break the drill bit now. And then this counterweight thing is done. So this is today's result. One broken drill bit and the finished counterweight. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I hoped I could use the other machine because the angle grinder wasn't as precise as I hoped, but it's definitely workable. And in the next episode, I will mount the two guide rods, the guide rails, and install the other parts of the counterweight and hopefully be done with that. So this is again a two part project, part one making off and part two installation of the new counterweight. Thanks for watching. In the next episode, I will install the new counterweight. Uh, this is the counterweight that I just made, and in the next episode, I will install it. I'm releasing episodes usually Thursday, unless I skip a Thursday, uh, which sometimes might happen. But generally, I'll release weekly episodes of Building LibreFlip and a series where I show every step how to make the page turning book scanner LibreFlip yourself. If you like to support the project, then please consider to subscribe to the channel or follow on Twitter or like, share, retweet, the usual. See ya next Thursday.